not everything goes the way as expected, but you learn to uh, recover and just learn from it and keep going. You can't give up. So. Everybody. Welcome back to the vlog here at Hidden Heights Farm. I'm Kevin. I hope all you mothers are having a great Mother's Day as well. So happy Mother's Day to all you guys. And guys, if you've been following the channel, you know that I did a little bartering with one of my best friends and a fellow YouTuber, Keeping It Dutch. If you guys watch YouTube, any of the homesteading channels, you've probably ran across Keeping It Dutch. So here about, oh, three weeks ago, we did a little barter or trade. Uh, he wanted a turkey out of one of our turkeys that we hatched here on the farm to butcher around Thanksgiving time or so. And in trade, he offered me some quail eggs and I ended up bringing home 32 quail eggs. Well, today is the day. We brought those quail eggs home, put, put them in the incubator and got them started as soon as I got home from his house. And today is the day they started hatching. Well, there's another story to go along with it. So we had like four or five that hatched and we had to run the town. So I was just going to leave them in the incubator. When we got back, I was going to grab them and put them out in the brooder with the rest of the chickens and the turkeys. And we get home and my wife realized that there were seven hatch, but she realized that the temperature was reading 70 degrees. And when we left about three hours before that, you know, it was reading 99.5, 99.7. It was perfect temperature for the babies. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I couldn't figure it out. <clears throat> Everything was plugged in. Well, there's this little, I don't know if it's like a little power converter that keeps it at 3.5 amps to the power supply or from the power supply to the heater in the actual incubator. So I, I smelt something burnt and sure enough, I took that apart unplugged it and smelled it and it was burnt and it was kind of blistered on the back i'll show you guys here in a minute but anyways uh i got the baby turkey or excuse me i got the baby quail in the incubator still trying to get their temperature back up because that 70 degrees for just a couple hours can chill them pretty bad hopefully it doesn't affect any of the baby quail from uh getting too chilled where they die or any of the quail that has not hatched yet hopefully they'll still hatch um Luckily, we found it when we did and got that fixed. So the temperature is back up to about where it needs to be. I'm going to let them sit in there probably for another 30 minutes to an hour. And then I'm going to move the ones that has been uh, hatched out for several hours out to the brooder under the heat lamp and get them all settled in. So let's go take a look at these baby quail. All right, guys. So I'm in the garage now back where the incubator is. And I have a GQF uh model 1588 automatic uh thermostat heater controlled heater anyways and uh this is the part that burn out so it plugs in line to the power supply and i don't know if you guys can see this very well right here in about the middle this little thing blistered up and all this does is it passes 12 volt dc in and 12 volt dc out i don't know if this is like a lightning resistor or what to keep it from frying the actual heater inside but i just did away with it and it's still plugged in fine so we're not going to mess with that it's working they got the temperature back to where it needs to be and uh let's take a look at these babies they're teeny tiny little babies and this one right there in the middle he just hatched out this one right there he just hatched out so we're going to let him stay the night in here but the ones like that one right there we're going to go ahead and take him out to the brooder. So let's get him out of here and load him up in this box. And we'll get him out to the shop and put him in the brooder. Alright, I'm going to show you guys one that's all dried off. Dried off. He's a little fluff ball. 
and get it focused very good. There we go. He's ready to go outside into the brooder. I don't know if it's a girl or boy. I keep calling it a him, but. So I'm gonna try to not keep this open very long so the ones that are still a little wet can uh, finish drying off well. Man, these things are fast. Look like little dinosaurs running around. Alright guys, so this is one of the eggs that's hatched. They all pretty much look the same. They all kind of pip around this end here and it just hinges open and they jump out. Aren't these eggs just amazing looking? Little camouflaged eggs. I guess the quail has adapted over time and uh, got tired of the predators eating all their eggs and such. So they've adapted to where they start laying camo eggs out in the fields and the grass. Very interesting. These are very beautiful eggs. None of them look none of them look the same. Identical anyway. Okay guys, we've got five little quail chicks that have hatched out and that are dried off ready to be taken over to the shop to be put in the brooder. So I don't know if you can see them. We'll get a little close up. These are the five that's ready to go out. We've got three more in the incubator that is drying. Yeah, these dudes are fast. I mean, as soon as they come out of the egg and they kind of get on their feet, they are gone. So don't let them get away from you. All right, guys, listen behind me. That is a whooper wheel. So one night I was on the live chat and I was setting out on the patio and somebody heard that and they didn't know what that was so for those of you out there that do not have these birds native to their area that's what they sound like whippoorwills very interesting noise they make uh, i've always recalled it hearing that ever since i was a child so it brings back a lot of memories from the summertime just wanted to share that with you guys all right guys so we're out here in the shop and i forgot to mention it is actually the night before mother's day but this video isn't going to come out until mother's day so once again happy mother's day to everybody so we got these quail moved out here to the shop it is it's about nine o'clock on saturday night uh we're going to leave these five in this brooder for tonight they are in a brooder all by themselves, not with the other baby chicks or baby turkeys because they're quite a bit bigger and we don't want them to get trampled. So we'll come back tomorrow and check on these babies, but let's take a look at them right now. What I did is I got some of their feed and sprinkled it on the ground, kind of like bedding almost. That way they, it kind of, it kind of entices them to peck at it and they learn to eat that way. Sorry about the light guys, that red light makes it kind of hard to see their color. There's two of them. And there's the other three. These things... Alright guys, so that's the baby quail for today. Hopefully some more hatch tonight, we'll see. Um, we don't know how many of those eggs were fertile to be in the first place and we don't know if that uh, heater going out on the incubator is going to affect it at all but uh, so far we got I think eight babies hatched hopefully the three that's still in the incubator make it until the morning we'll see and hopefully some more will hatch but uh, we'll come back out here first thing in the morning and check on these baby quail and give you guys an update alright guys so it's the next day and it's finally not so cloudy that the sun's actually shining through a little bit. Uh, the temperature's already feeling great. But let's go into the garage and ch check the incubator and see how many more baby quail we have to put out in the shop. I think we got, yep, we got three more. Um, I don't really see any more eggs that are even pipping. So what we'll do is we'll get these babies and put them in this little box I got here and take them out to the other baby quail in the brewery.
Let me show you guys, these little dudes are fast. This lid closed. Okay, Little bitty guys. Alright, guys, so I got a little unicorn that just woke up and she wanted to hold the baby quail before we put it out in the brooder. What do you think about those babies? It's really, really cute. Little bitty guy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Here, hold him out. Let me zoom in on him. See here. Yeah. Little oh. baby. Hopefully they grow good. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, let's put him in the box and I'll take him out to the shop. Yeah. Alright guys, so we got three more quail to add to the total of eight, we got five in the brooder already, and uh, that's eight babies out of 32 eggs, which I don't consider that a successful hatch. Um, it's hard to say whether it was the heating element that went out yesterday in the incubator. Uh, the little power supply actually went out, not the heating element, but could have been that because it did drop down to 70 degrees, and if they get chilled, it'll kill them a lot of times in the eggs. But I don't know if that was it. It could have been... Uh, the quail that these eggs came from, from Dutch, uh, they're really young, so they might not have been all fertile. We don't know. But anyways, I think I can make this work out of eight babies. Surely there's at least one male or one female. So if I got one of each at least, uh, get some eggs fertile here in about six or seven weeks and get them hatched and go from there. But let's get these in with the others. Okay guys, so we're out here at the shop with the brooder and I got some bad news. So upon coming up here and looking in the brooder, there is one dead. So let me rephrase my last statement down. We have seven total. So, so we come in here and this one was laying right here. He was in the heat. Yeah. I don't know what was wrong with him, but he didn't make it. So we'll get him out of there and we'll add these others to the mix. You want to put these in there? Sure. Okay, come here. Put them down real easy. Little guy, that one's really little, isn't he? This one's probably the tiniest. Wait, yeah. that one's the tiniest. Well, they're all pretty little. Yeah. There are all the babies. Little bitty guys. All right, guys, so like I said, we got seven baby quail now. Hopefully all these survive, and I think we can still make this work. If not, I got a good buddy, Dutch, that has several more quail. We can borrow a male or a female if we need to, but we'll make it work. I uh, might get some more eggs here eventually, try to hatch some more. Um, oh, the flag up here behind me, that's the Cherokee Nation flag. Uh, a lot of people uh, heard me talk about the uh, Cherokee Nation seed bank that just sent me the seeds in one of my last videos and they were asking if I was a citizen of the tribe and yes we are Cherokee Nation citizens so with that being said um, I don't know guys so you know a lot of people probably don't want to see the dead quail or even hear about it but we tried like I said yesterday in the video about the thistles we try to keep it real here at Hidden Heights Farm we don't hide nothing from you guys so you guys pretty much live every day with us on these videos uh, you see our almost everyday life. Uh, we don't yeah. we don't film everything, but you know we want to show you guys. There's not always good. You gotta you gotta show the bad too. So yeah. that baby quail dying that's that's bad. That's part of life. Yes. Um, not everything goes the way is expected, but you learn to uh, recover and just learn from it and keep going. You can't give up. So you got anything to say before we go, Kaya? Yeah. Um. I hope you guys subscribe and maybe, maybe I could get a new pig 
or maybe a goat. Okay. So the other night we went live and and some people, it was actually Kaya's birthday and some people, some very great subscribers, uh, donated some super chat funds towards Kaya's birthday to for her to pick out a new animal here on the farm. So we don't know if we'll get a goat or a pig is what she was saying. But guys, uh, all the moms, grandmas out there, happy Mother's Day from Hidden Heights Farm. Enjoy the day. Hug your loved ones, and we'll see you next time. Peter, get that unicorn. <laughs>